Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today is the weekend event for No Man's Sky. So if you didn't know, we have started the weekend events again. You should know by this point. This is going to be the third one, I believe. The last one, technically in April, going into May, because May starts today. And so, you know, Saturday is May. But every, it goes from Friday to Sunday, and... You see that green teal box above the uh, Nexus? When you see that green, you know, cube, that means there's a weekend event going on. And we have 58 hours left, so Friday to Sunday, there you go. And in this one, we're doing malicious foliage, which means we're going to be eliminating hazardous plants. Okay. Again, we're not really getting, like, story-specific uh, weekend events, which is okay. I still think, yeah, they're doing the... Uh, Getting everyone used to doing missions and going out and and using different things that they would normally give you. So, all right, let's see if they give us any directions to talk to anybody on the anomaly. And let's see. Nope. We got a minute and a half to get in our ship and get out of here. So let's go and go destroy those plants. Now, I would always say do the weekend events because they give you a lot of Quicksilver. You get 1,200 Quicksilver, which you can save and bank up to buy Quicksilver items, but it also helps us progress through our different tiers on the uh, weekend or on our uh, our research stuff. So if you didn't know, every week we have unlocks. And so let's do this real fast. If you go to your pause menu, you should have one called community research right here. And so for this uh, research, we have six different tiers, which is a lot of tiers. And these are for different rewards in the Quicksilver shop. We are almost done with uh, tier four, almost in, oh no, we are done with tier four. We just started tier five. We're at 19% on tier five. And once this is fully completed, they will give us new rewards. And so it definitely pays off to do those weekend events. So let's see what where we have to go. Approximate location marked. Where is it? Um, I'm not seeing it anywhere. What in the world? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have to do our malicious... We have to highlight the the uh, progress. Sorry. If you don't have it highlighted, it's not going to mark it for you. Now it should mark it for us. There it is. Right there. See, it wasn't marked before. Now it's marked. That is one weird thing about No Man's Sky. It's generally not a problem, not an issue. But if you find that, you know, it's not marking a location to go to, or it's not kind of giving you general directions on, hey, go here, go there, it's probably be because you don't have the right mission selected. And so you have to go into your pause menu and select the mission you want to do. And it'll point in the direction you need to go. Now, once we land on the uh, planet, it's gonna tell us to pull out our sweeper for our uh, visor. That way we can sweep for these uh, plants. We know we have to land here. Oh, don't land sideways. Okay, good. So we know we have to land here and then we have to just look for Oh, man, that storm is loud. I know, I know, I know. Target sweeper, there he goes. Yeah, see, we were about 173 feet away. Okay. Let's see. And now it's going to scan for us. I love the sweeper mode. The sweeper mode is really cool because it'll unlock everything. Oh, here we have to go to our uh, our grave. So now let's talk to the grave. So someone got murdered by some uh, plants here. The atmosphere here, something. The strangling vines, the little, very little ammunition. Oh, so vines got him. Fallen Traveler's log seems to mention the floral infestation, but holds no further clues. I will need to scout to locate the hazardous flora. So now we have to go get some, uh, whoa, that was freaky. Look at this, though. There's a buried technology that's above the ground. I love it when that happens. And then we have this cool... Look at these creatures. I like this guy. He's like a really, uh... Like a crustacean, almost. I like that. So now we're looking for plants. There's the hazardous floor right there. So you'll see it's always marked with a red exclamation point. You just have to take these guys out. Now, I always use my mining beam. It's really easy to do that. And it's just going to keep marking them for us. Where is it? All right. Too weak for distance. All right, let's keep going. You gotta look for all of this. There it is. 
And as you can see, the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, it says one out of 13. So we're gonna have to kill 13 plants. Got it? No, 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 you don't need to worry about me. Don't worry about me, man. I'll just get out of town. That way the Sentinels don't come after me. Oh, look at this. There's another buried technology above the ground. I'll take that one, too, right next to the mission area. Okay. Let's get this one. That one's gone. All right, yeah, and you're just looking for those red exclamation points. I, this is actually pretty easy. I thought it was going to take a little bit longer to do by myself, but they seem to have them pretty much in the same area. Now, I see that now. I only got four out of 13, so it might get a little harder. Oh, like that one right there. Get that one. Yes. So there's one over here. And you can use your jetpack while you're doing it. Whoa, back up. Oh, there's two of them right here. So, one. Oh, get this one. And then two. Oh, and then three. We can have another one right here. We're going to make the Sentinel mad, but that's okay. Let's get out. Go, 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 go. All right, eight out of 13. We're getting pretty close. Oh, look at all these plants. Okay, yeah, they are definitely purposely marking a whole bunch of them right around here. So... Let's get this one over here. That one's good. Now, I, as far as I know, you don't have to get uh, the specific ones that are marked. It's just marking the ones that are closest to you. So you don't have to get these exact ones. You can go off and get other ones as well. I would say just use your sweeper because it's a lot easier to do. There we go. And there we go. Done, son. We got all those. Um, oh, wait, we have another one. What, what are we doing here? There's another, uh, target sweep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I thought we were finished, but I guess not. Let's keep going. Oh, two week four. Oh. What? I already did this. What are we doing here? Are we getting more foliage? More plants? Um, what are we doing here? Why? Am, I thought I was finished. Okay, now we are. Now we're officially finished, I guess. I guess it wanted 14 and not 13, but we wanted one above the number. Um, new mission? Wait a minute. Eliminate hazardous plants? What? Um, why does it keep doing that? Okay, there we go. Return to the Nexus to receive your reward. There you go. I don't know. That was a weird... It glitched out a little bit. So, okay. Gets a little bit finicky, but that's very simple. Very easy mission to do. So, hopefully, this is it. We got our 1,200 uh, Quicksilver. Let's go back and, and turn it in. And I can show you guys what the rewards are when we get back to the uh, Nexus. So there we have it. Yeah, easy peasy. I always call it in because I'm a little bit lazy. I don't... Because I'm sure the anomaly was somewhere in the system. I just didn't want to go looking for it. So I just called it in right in front of me. I mean, you can do that. It's the easiest way to do that. So you don't have to worry about searching for it or boosting over, pulse driving over to it. So let's turn this in. I think I have a lot of uh, saved up uh, Quicksilver, which is awesome. I still have... My three Quicksilver missions I have to do. I still I need to keep up on that, you guys. I always say that, but then I always fall behind. I'm, I'm really good on the weekend, and then during the week, I kind of fall behind on that. Let's complete it. There we go. We got our Quicksilver and our life support shells. And remember, every 10 minutes or so, it'll change the secondary reward. It'll always give you 1,200 Quicksilver, but it'll give you different rewards. Like, you know, I got life support shell, but you can get all kinds of different stuff with that. So let's check out and see what we got. Create exotic items from Quicksilver. And we've unlocked the Cafe 42 decal. So we've unlocked all of these so far. 400, so it's not really that much. I still have 1,900 Quicksilver saved up. So yeah, we still have two more tiers. We have tier five and tier six to unlock. And if you're ever looking for any other uh, Quicksilver item, if you want to save it up or if you, or you're a brand new player and you want to get some of the cooler stuff, you can always go back through and buy any of this stuff you can. So uh, you just have to save up your Quicksilver in order to buy them. Because a lot of this stuff is different. 
Like it'll be, you know, a whole bunch. Like I think the Artemis figurine is like 1,200 Quicksilver or something like that. So they all have a different price tag on them, but you could buy a whole bunch of stuff from here. The new exosuit backpack, the old well, secondary one, not the cool one that I have, the retro one, the uh, secondary, the, uh, I don't even know what you would call this one, the, just the backpack, secondary backpack. But yeah, you can buy a void egg here. If you had enough, you have to have 3,200 uh, point, you know, Quicksilver for that. I don't have that much yet because I spent mine already on that. But I've unlocked all of them. You get your different heads you can use. Oh yeah. So definitely, but you know, the biggest thing is do your Quicksilver mission. And now you see it's gone, but I still have my my uh, regular Quicksilver mission. So do your weekend event and then do your Quicksilver missions and kick some butt. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, hit the like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading videos all the time and I'll see you guys next time.